All right, now Hunter Biden is reportedly suing the IRS, Liz, <laughs> um, accusing its agents of illegally releasing his tax information, failing to protect yes. his private records. Close. The injustice. This is incredible. He's basically suing his dad's own government. He's saying this was a smear campaign. They released records. They made it public that they shouldn't have. Now, he's after these two particular IRS agents. Their lawyers have already completely refuted this. This, any information that he said was illegally made known. They were talking about in an oversight committee earlier this year and it's not true to say that you can't make that known because if it's if it's a whistleblower, which they technically are now, mm. and it's condoned by statute, which it was, then yes, they get to say what they got to say. I think this is going to be over very quickly. Their lawyers are already involved, but... I think this is a very transparent attempt by the Biden crew to uh, distract everyone from what's going on with regards to this impeachment inquiry that's going on, looking into their very plentiful dirty laundry. So for him to come out now and be like, I'm suing basically, mm. et cetera, and so on, it's 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 to me a very thinly veiled mm. distraction and I don't think it's going to be very effective. Paul, I think it's interesting that, you know, the US media, while they're, and I'm talking about the, the left-wing media here, while they're not really reporting uh, in any significant way on the Biden impeachment, they are starting to become critical of Joe Biden. What's going on here? Yeah, isn't it ridiculous that when they start to move towards balance, mm. we <laughs> see that as what it is, which is they're not doing the usual job of being the protection racket, mm. which, of course, is the ultimate problem that many people have with the people who want the, the, the cloak uh, of, uh, of independence and I'm the referee and the buck stops with me and truth dies in darkness and all this <laughs> crap that they talk themselves about. Mm. What this move is about is about firstly intimidating uh, uh, whistleblowers yes. and secondly trying to stop the paperwork spigot from starting to, to break open. Next for the oversight committees and next for the impeachment inquiry is to get to the bank records of Hunter Biden. Whether they can get to Joe Biden or not as a sitting president, who knows? But at the very least, will there be bank records that say that a son was sending money towards the father? To those that say there is no evidence, I repeat, I repeat, I repeat. A man called Tony Bobolinsky gave a speech in 2020 at the National Press Club in Washington, D.C. It goes for 20 minutes, but the first five minutes is all you need to watch. And if we had four years of unidentified sources of all of those stories <laughs> about Donald Trump, that bloke would be front and centre about why there's plenty to see here. here. And that's why they're starting to shop around on Biden. All right. Paul Murray at Liz Dora, thank you both so much. We'll see you tonight, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Cheers. Thank you. Hour now, Liz. Love you.